Hello, I'm Carl from CCSavers, and today I will show you how to install the chassis for the Grandmaster Hilt. So I knew uh, many of you have already received your chassis for the Grandmaster, and uh, you may have some problems um, because this chassis is a snug fit. It's a very snug fit. So you have to take care of your uh, wiring wisely. So yeah, let's get started. So I will introduce this chassis from the top to the bottom. So on the top, you will have the NeoPixel connector and you uh, may require to send the edge of the PCBs since there are probably some extra edges on it. And as you can see here, you will have three wires, um, positive, negative, and uh, the data line and it will go through this side channel here. You can see the thick one, uh, the red one is a positive, and the uh, yellow one is a data line, and uh, the negative will go to these two soldering pads. And then we have our switch PCBs. There are three soldering pads at the bottom of it. So positive, negative, and the middle one goes to the switch or the button soldering pad on the property board, which is this one or this one. Um, for the wiring, you must use the uh, space wisely since although there are two slots on, on the sides of the chassis, but um, it's not enough if you put all these wires into these two slots. So what I do here is, you can see this little thing. So these two wires is from the switch PCBs, which is too positive. From this here and the red wire here. So you can see I add an extra wire and solder them together. So this wire will go to here, the five volt here, five volt soldering pads. Since I would like uh, the switch LEDs turn off automatic automatically when I'm not using them. So this is what I do. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And it's just uh, my opinion. And, uh, and you can see the same thing here. Two negative from the switch PCBs and uh, another wire, actually probably this one, goes to here. So battery negative or the ground and after you doing this you will put these two little tabs into the top of the emitter uh, not emitter but the top space of the chassis there are a lot of sp spacing at here you can see so these wires will not use the space here and uh, you can leave the space for the other wires. And uh, next, we have a kill switch here. And at here, you can see a reserved hole, which is for the uh, M3 um, hex screw, which is included in the um, chassis kit. So this screw is used to fix the kill switch so it will not move around or fall out. And here you have the positive battery tab and you can see there is a huge positive battery sign on it. So don't put the battery reversed. It will do damage to the property boards to the neopixel connector and also your blade. 
and go down, we have the negative battery tab. And as you can see, the wire goes through here to this channel and go to the battery negative on the Pro keyboard, which is this one. And at the bottom, we have our 22 millimeter speaker, uh, which is not included in the kit. So what is not included in the kit is the speaker and the Pro keyboard. Um, you will have two wires. The polarity just doesn't matter. I just use black and wire. <laughs> Oh, sorry, black and red wire. And go through this channel and go to the speaker soldering pads, which is this one and this one. Yes, and that's pretty much about it. And you will have the bottom cover for the uh, speaker. So just put the speaker back into the bottom anyway and uh, put this back also you need to screw here to make the top of the chassis attached to the main body and finally you have the um, sound body cover here And this chassis uses a protected 18650. So if you find it's a little hard to um, put the battery in, make sure that you uh, just press the battery tab a little bit before you put this into the hilt. Uh, make it a little more flat so the, uh, so the battery can uh, take out easily. Another thing is that you can see here is a hole. So this is actually for the sound bolt cover. So there will be a screw here and it will go through this hole. So make sure that uh, the screw will not uh, go through here completely. Like, I mean, um, the screw which I was included in the kit, it should not um, go through this hole. It's like a halfway inside it. And for the Y650 battery, um, as I said, it's a very snug fit. If you find it's a little bit hard to put the chase into the hilt, you can try uh, remove the vinyl um, cover of the uh, battery it will make the things a lot easier yeah and that's pretty much about it and uh, thank you everyone for buying and uh, as i said before this uh, grandmaster is a huge success and uh, um, i cannot do this without um, everyone who supported me so thank you and uh, hope to see you guys soon